Hi guys and welcome in the next video. Okay, so previously we spoke a little bit about uh, the reference positions. Today's video I wanted to speak about something that I should mention because probably most of you or the part of you is already working on the robots that are working somewhere and you're making changes to something that works. And it's very beneficial to know uh, what a bug edit is and how to use it. So today I'm going to cover the bug edit. So let's get to it. Five, seven. All right, so what is a bug edit and what can you use it for? So basically, uh, every time you will hit the select button, the first program that you can select is going to, call to, be, to be called bug edit. What is it for and why is it always there even though you never create it? So basically, a Fanuc gives you an option to edit a program online. That means while the robot is running without interfering the current program. The only limitation you have, if that program is currently running, you won't be able to save the changes unless the program will finish. But we'll get to that soon. Uh, first, what is a bug edit and how to use it? So basically the bug edit uh, allows you to edit a program without uh, enabling the teach pendant. That, said, that being said, that means that your robot can be running in auto and you might be making changes to a current program without inter uh, interrupting the current program. Uh, it sounds pretty good. Yeah, it's a very useful function. I use it almost every day. So uh, how do you access that option and how do you use it? So basically you need to go to the line saying the bug edit uh, and you gotta hit enter on it. And then you will have two options. One is going to be a look option and the second one is going to be the edit option. So as you can imagine, the look option will allow you to look at the program and the edit option will allow you to edit the program. So basically the look option, uh, why you will have it, because maybe you just want to look through the program that you cannot normally select because maybe it's running, maybe something else is going on and you're not able to see what's going on. With the look option, you'll be able to access that program, scroll through the lines, read the code, find out what's okay, what's not okay and that will give you the uh, possibility of finding out maybe what's wrong. With the edit option, you'll be able to edit the program. That means the program will be running, but you wanna make changes, okay? So like, let's say between the first uh, program and the second program, or the first part that you'll process and the second part that you'll process, you wanna make some changes because something changed on the line or uh, you don't like the part of the program, whatever. So you wanna use it to edit the program. So basically, uh, as I said, you're going to go to the first line, you're going to select bug edit, then you're just going to go to the program that you want and you select either the look or the edit. If you're going to hit the edit option, there'll be a pop-up as far as I remember that will show, uh, don't forget to uh, end edit after you're done editing. And then what's going to happen, you'll see that the program will open and at the very top, we're going to say that uh, it's a background edit. So you know that you're actually editing a background program, not uh, a, a real program that's running. So you're going to go in and go into the program. You can make as many changes as you want. So you can edit the program. There is no limitations. You can change the point positions. Uh, you can add inputs, whatever you want. Uh, and after you're done, <clears throat> you just want to save those changes or you might discard the changes. Do not save them and leave the program as it is. What's important guys, always remember to end your uh, bug edit program because somebody will come to the robot after you, maybe he wanna bug edit something and they will still have the program open and they won't be sure if you made any changes or you don't make any changes, do you want to save them or you don't want to save them. So keep in mind, always try to end your programs. Uh, end, I'm sorry, end your bug edit. That's important. Okay. Uh, so let's go to the exercises and let's see how it's done. All right, guys. So welcome to the exercises. So let me show what do we use the background edit uh, for. So I've created a program here uh, that is just a loop and that is using the reference program, the program from our uh, previous video. 
and uh, I have a waiting here so we'll be able to uh, edit that program because as I said you cannot edit the program that's currently running so let me show you how this works uh, first of all let's start our PNS1 so the robot will run automatically uh, in a cycle uh, and as you can see we're running we're running our reference uh, number five as you can see, uh, the program is executing, it's a never-ending loop. So uh, let's say we want to edit our reference program right now without stopping the robot. So we're going to use the background edit for it. So uh, the background edit is always uh, at your first line, so it's easy to find, guys. Uh, in order to activate the background edit, you simply select it and you hit the enter. Uh, as right now, you can see uh, we have a message here, select a program for a background edit. And as I said, you can look at, look at the program or edit the program. So first, let's see the look option. So you want to select the program you want to look for, or you want to look at. So in our case, that, that's going to be our uh, reference program. We have it in here, you hit look. And as you can see, as I said, you have a message in here that pops up background look. And you see that the robot is actually executing the, this line, uh, this program, it's saying at what line you are at, you can see the add symbols uh, blinking. You cannot do anything in here, you can just uh, look at it and uh, think, well, what does it do, what changes you wanna make, for example. When you are done with the background look, uh, you wanna hit the next button. If needed, sometimes it will show up this menu uh, straight away. And you wanna hit end look. This way you are out of your uh, look and uh, you are out of your background uh, edit function. If you wanna edit a program, uh, you wanna follow the same steps. You wanna enter the bug edit, you wanna select the program to edit, which in our case is going to be the reference. You wanna hit edit, not look, and it will remind you that uh, when you want to finish editing, do not forget to declare and edit in edit command. And I will show you what does it mean in a second. So you want to hit OK. Oh, sorry guys, wrong program selected, but uh, I'll show you exactly what does it mean. So whenever you're doing the background edit, see there is no look, it just says background. Uh, you want to make sure after you're done, you do edit command and end edit. If you don't do it and you simply just hit the select button, uh, you can see that in your background edit, there is a program that was selected by it still kind of, let's say, active. So basically, the robot remembers that we selected the register program and we did not finish editing it. That means whenever you hit now enter on the back edit, you will automatically back, uh, jump back to the program that somebody started editing or you started editing. So you want to make sure that you want to hit that edit command you want to ensure you hit that end edit and hit enter. Now you will be asked two questions, depending on yes or no, I will be one or two questions. And you are asked, do you want to modi you want the modification uh, to uh, be implemented? You want it or you don't want it? We don't want to implement any modifications because we have not made any modifications. So we hit enter. And then it will ask, do you want to discard the modifications? Uh, yes or no. Yes, you want to discard the modifications because I don't want anything that happened to be applied to the program. So we hit yes. Okay, now let's select our program. Uh, let's select uh, the one that we're running right now. The reference program. There you go. You want to hit edit. The same message, okay. And that's the program that we're running right now. As you can see, we're uh, moving, stuff is happening. So let's add something to that program. So for example, I want to add uh, DO149 uh, to be turned on in here. And I want to turn it off in this point. 149, turn off. Okay, now let's split the screen to double. So you see that uh, our output is not currently being turned on and off. So uh, 149, let's turn it to off. 
As you can see, as we run 149 stays off because our program, the modifications that we made are, are not applied. Uh, now, uh, don't worry. Uh, if you are running the program and you will implement, you want to implement, you want to make sure you are not running the program you made the changes to. What I mean is, you don't want to run a reference program, so you don't want to uh, see this program right now, and you don't want to save the changes because uh, that's not allowed. You need to wait for the uh, robot to jump out of that program, so for us, we need to be in PNS1 in order to apply the changes. Let me show you what's going to happen if I want to make the changes when we are running the program. So if I do edit command and edit, and I will want to implement the changes by clicking yes while we are running, we will get this message. We could not implement the changes because the program is currently executing. So the program uh, cannot be executed or paused while implement, implementing the changes. So we need to wait uh, for the robot to jump back to PNS1 and only then we can apply the changes. So let's do so. Edit command and edit. Let's wait for the PNS1 to show in here. Yes. Now you see that uh, the program changed uh, and it's no longer in background edit. And you can see in here that our changes is working because right now we have the one for the on off. As we start, it will turn on and by the end of the program, it will turn off. And when you hit edit right now and you see the current program, you can see that our changes are already saved and we are running with those changes. So I think guys, it's a very useful option. Uh, like I said, don't forget always to end the program you're editing just so you, you don't get confused uh, and you don't confuse others while uh, trying to do the background edit. Uh, one thing I want to mention to you, if you have a second window open in here and you go to number one, you have back edit two, which means you can edit two programs at the same time. So you can be editing one program in this window and the other program in that window and that's okay for the robot and you can apply the changes on both uh, windows. All right, guys. So that's all from the exercises. Thank you. All right. I hope that you enjoyed that video, guys. Uh, like always, don't forget to leave your comments down below. Subscribe, give it a like, and like always, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.